Hello everyone, my name is Yash and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the steps that you need to take in order to create your first Node.js web server. So let's get started right now. First step that we need to take is download Node.js from nodejs.org. There are two options, as you can see. There's the long-term support version and there's the current version. Current version do have all the latest features, but it could have potential bugs as well. So I would recommend you to go with long-term support version. Click on the LTS button to download the package and wait for it to finish downloading. So it's downloading. And it's downloaded. So I'll just clear this and close my browser here and open up my downloads folder. So next we'll double click on the package and start installation. And I have my installation right here. And let's click continue, click continue, agree. And on your Macintosh hard drive, continue. And uh, if you wish to change your install location, you may click on this button and follow the instructions. I'll just keep default and I'll enter my MacBook's password and I'll hit install software. And looks like it's installed and it says it installed node 16.15.0 and NPM 8.5.5. So next, there is a way for us to verify the installation. Let's go ahead and close this, and move to trash, close this as well. And let's open terminal here. And I'll just make it full screen, increase the size. And what you can type here is node-v and it will show us the version. It's 16.15.0. Uh, if you, uh, that's what it showed us after installation and we will do the same thing for npm and so it's 8.5.5 now that we have node downloaded installed and verified it's time for me to introduce node so what is node node.js is an open source backend javascript runtime environment that runs on v8 engine and execute javascript code outside a web browser in simpler terms node is a way for you to run javascript outside browsers this allow us to write scripts, create server, and any other stuff that a normal programming language could do. So what we are going to do is create our first server using Node.js. In order for us to do that, all we need to do is create a JavaScript file. I will hit command N to create a new file and command S to save it, and we'll save it as app.js. So in order for us to create a server, we need a library called HTTP. So I'll do HTTP require HTTP. And we will also define port as a constant of 3000. Oops, my bad, 3000. And we'll say server. Once again, it's going to be a const server is equal to, we'll say HTTP dot create server, uh, which needs a function with two parameters request and response and we will get back to this part later and we'll do server dot listen and here we'll pass in the port and here we need a function again with one parameter error so if if there is some error we will console log it so console dot log and we will say there was an error and I'll say error else. So if there was no error, we'll console log. And uh, so there is a trick. If you do CLG, it will uh, give you the whole thing. It will auto complete. And here we can say server is running on HTTP and this will be local host colon and plus port. So we can go ahead and test this out. Uh, let's open our terminal from here. We can just scroll here and let's do new terminal and it will open it up here. 
and all we need to do is type in node app.js and we can see that server is running on uh, localhost 3000. If I command click it, it will take me to there. But the problem is uh, it is still loading because we, we need to do some stuff here, right here. So if I do rest.end, we are fine. Like there will be no problem again. So let's go back, control C. And every time you make changes, you need to control C and run the server again. And let's go back here and refresh. Now this time we see white page. So it did work. Let's try to output something right here. And here we can say rest.write. And let's say your first uh, node server and just hit save. And as I told you, we need to, you know what, let's see. Okay, if you refresh, it doesn't work. Go back, control C and node app.js. And let's go back here and refresh. And now we get the output of your node, your first node server. Now sending a text response is cool, but you probably want to respond with an with a HTML or JSON, right? So let's uh, go ahead and implement HTML response. Uh, go back to VS Code and let's create a new file and save it. And we will say index.html and hit exclamation mark and enter. And uh, here we can say first app and let's go to body and we can have h3 tag your first node app and also let's have hr uh, let's keep it simple right okay we are done with the html part uh, let's go back here and we need to make few changes so instead of uh, response dot right we'll have response dot right head oops my bad right head this one and here first we need to pass in a status code so it's going to be 200 and we'll pass in a header so header is going to be content type and its value is going to be text html now we need to read our index.html file so in order for us to read that file we need another library called fs for file systems and we'll say fs uh, go back here and we can say fs dot read file and file name is going to be html and here we need a function with two parameters first is going to be error and another is data and let's handle error scenario first so if we have some sort of error we'll say res dot write head and this is going to be 404 and rest.right and it will say error file not found okay and once uh, and else if everything goes well we will write response dot right and we'll just pass in data here so it's all the data from our index file and instead of having res response dot end here we will move it uh, one level up so the way I did it was by pressing option and up up arrow key you can do this uh, it's it's a good good shortcut to know right let's go ahead and stop the server clear and run the server again so now if we go back to our uh, browser and refresh we see that HTML is working just fine let's go ahead and implement JSON response let's go back to our VS code uh, we need this so we'll put it here just down there and remove this part and for our header instead of content type uh, we will have content type but instead of having text HTML we will have application JSON okay hit enter rest dot write and here we will say JSON dot stringify and here we can pass in whatever JSON uh, you want okay uh, so let's do status and we can have 200 message uh, your request was successful and just save let's go back and stop the server and run it again and this time instead of Safari let's open Chrome so that it's I have a plugin which lets us see 
a, a better output so okay it's not three thousand it's three thousand so let's go ahead and make some changes okay so instead of having this let's just say success so i'll save it go back stop the server run it again and go and refresh okay so we are done uh, this is how you create your first node server if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below if this video helped you uh, please do like and subscribe for future videos thank you until next time